Woven started uh, actually three years ago with a conversation of a group of friends, uh, most of which had stopped going to church or and some had never been to church before and considered themselves people of faith but um, but weren't committed to to a, a church or a congregation and they just found that there was something missing mm-hmm. in their life and so we started a conversation of first what was it why weren't we going to to churches what what was stopping us or what wasn't attracting us and and then figured out could we create a place where where we could make it a comfortable place for people who um, maybe didn't feel comfortable at church before. We met for about nine months uh, planning and thinking about not just ourselves but people that we knew what what would they value what would be important to them and and so we really came up with this idea that, that we wanted a, a safe place for multiple perspectives, um, that it wasn't just one perspective, it wasn't just my opinion as the pastor, mm-hmm. but that we would welcome all people, um, different beliefs as well as um, different doubts as well. We wanted it to be a safe place to, to doubt and a place that you didn't have to just have all the answers and um, so that's that's how we we started mm-hmm. and we used to say that we wanted a safe place to ask questions but now we say we want to be a safe place where we don't have to have all the answers it's what spurred that conversation is having a number of hearing from a number of my friends who maybe talked about wanting to be a part of a church but looked around and, and they couldn't imagine themselves in the existing churches. And there are wonderful churches in Fresno that, mm-hmm. that do reach out to a large number of, of people that feel warm and welcome. But I felt like there was a group of people who, who were maybe being left out mm-hmm. and, or maybe choosing to be left out. Right. Um, and so, yeah, my, my goal was... And these were my friends, so I felt like if, if I could create a place for my friends, the people that I know and understand, um, maybe, there was, maybe there was more like, like us. Yeah. In my opinion, one of the things for grace is that you would accept people as they are without pressuring them to change. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so, yeah, for me, that's my goal is to create a church where where not just everyone is is welcome so that they would come be like us but everyone is welcome so that we can maybe be a little bit more like the other person we uh one thing that we try and do is that we we don't just have one person talking the whole time or Mm -hmm. we don't have one person up front um If you come on a Sunday night, you're going to see multiple people up front sharing. Um, And then we we try and invite people from outside Woven as well to come and share um, their perspectives on faith and life. And so we really try and listen to to them. Um, One thing that we wanted to do is, is realize that everything good doesn't happen at a church, but there's good things going on throughout our community and Mm -hmm. so one of our challenges was to the only thing that we did on the church campus was Sunday night worship everything else we did we tried to engage with existing things in the community um, because we believe that good things are happening and we wanted to become and partner with the existing good things so once a month we go have dinner at gazebo gardens uh, when they do food truck night, mm-hmm. and uh, because we think people coming together and eating good food and yeah. uh, drinking good beer is a, is a good thing, mm-hmm. and uh, and so we as a church, we want to come and, and join in on on that. It's not that we are tr- trying hard to do something different. It's we're just bringing the normal parts of our life. 
and trying not to create a fine line or a, 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 a significant line between what goes on off church campus and what happens on church campus or what we do Monday through Saturday shouldn't be much different from what we do on, on right. Sunday. Um, in my opinion, the great thing about the church is that you get multiple people together. Um, you don't get to pick who is in your church. I think one thing uh, the majority of people at Woven are under 45. And one thing that I've noticed in our generation is we are not committed to clubs and groups like generations before. Mm -hmm. I don't know anybody who's a Rotary Club member. I don't know anybody in Chamber of Commerce. Uh, my grandfather was a member of uh, the Optimist Club, and like I don't even know if that exists <laughs> anymore. And I think one of the things that we miss is this opportunity to be a part of something larger than ourselves, with people who think differently than us, and that we're working towards a, a goal, something valuable, and we have to do it with people who think differently. Mm -hmm. We say that we value diversity, but really, if the only people that you're with outside of work or outside of school are the people who have the same politics as you, the same preference of music and art, yeah. uh, they raise their kids the same way, well, you're missing out on, on the complexity of, of humanity. So we want to create a place where, where we can engage and, and learn from people that are different from ourselves.